Greetings and welcome to Factorial Bob's Mods and Angel's Mods. We've wrecked Fallon, who is currently in map mode, so I mean, right there. Making rails. He's actually got rails up and running. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that's some of the stone being used up, which is great. Uh, don't know if you where you think stone from. Oh, it's there. You go. Oh, yeah. Couldn't see where this stone was coming yeah, from. Yeah, I, I ran it under. <laughs> So there we go, so we've got that, and I'm currently getting the coke running, ready for the basic electric circuit, which we will be needing for some of the advanced stuff, like just simple stuff like the, the fast inserters. They're going to need the uh, the tin stuff. Yeah, so the fast inserters require the electric circuit that you're going to be working on, uh, which also requires this stuff, so... Why are you putting the crushed coal in when it needs coke? Shh, go away. <laughs> I just want to understand the process. <laughs> it's got confusion. It happens. <laughs> oh. Some steps were missed in this process, and I don't mind. Yep, some steps were missed, and people will get confused. I, I am, I am going to be stupid and make a temporary build here for some uh, engines, so that we can make a couple of trains. Yeah, and then I'll make a real train build while I'm waiting for it. <laughs> okay, they need. So I can... Oh, what's I all just... that stuff? Oh, actually, most of this is stuff you're making right now. What? Well, the trains need the uh, what's it called? The basic electronic circuit board. So we can't actually make trains until you're done with your build down there. Yeah. So I'm only making the cook part of it. We need obviously the other parts to go with it. The electric right. circuit things and stuff. This is actually just a really coke cool. build. Uh, so I need to make a couple what more of those and uh, find where they are. Trains need 20 engine units. Wait, okay, where is I'm the fine. liquefier? The, where is the liquefier? Liquefier! There you are. I need. Ah, Do you want need... me to put engine units on the belt? Or on the bus? Um... Like, I can just set up a build to put them on another <clears throat> part of the bus here. Although I don't know if that's actually helpful. I don't think it's needed because we don't use that many engines in Phone Aware. I mean, there's only robots, trains, cars. Phone Aware, yeah, you know, only everything. <laughs> if it's something that is is used a lot, it's best to be on the bus, basically. If it's something that's only used right. occasionally, it's not worth the hassle. Uh, liquefiers. Uh, put you there, put you there. That'll probably be way more than I need. Uh, oh, our viewers don't know because it was during the uh, live stream the other day that I mentioned this, but uh, being from the US, we're used to you know driving on the right, and I set up a new Factorio world the other day and just automatically built it with left-hand drive and then was very confused as to why my signaling wasn't working correctly. <laughs> and uh, luckily I didn't have any trains run into each other, but uh, it took quite a bit of figuring out to find the issue. <laughs> I can only imagine that would be confusing. <laughs> well, and at that point, I already had like three different train lines running, and I'm going, I guess I'm just going to build the whole thing in left-hand drive. <laughs> Good luck with that one. So I kind of just gave up and went with it. <laughs> oh, flights. I so want robots. I like building things by hand, but I just like the convenience of robots. Mm -hmm. uh, I need a... Uh, where are you hiding? Uh, I gotta organize my inventory. Any cabin outside? Already. Already. I'm just barely getting started, and it's already time to organize the inventory. That's how you know you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Actually, specifically, I'm organizing my hot bar. And for no reason at all. I don't care about it right now. Other than symmetry, I'm doing that. There's literally <laughs> no reason for that other than symmetry. Where are we stopped? Oh, we're out of iron plates. Are we? Well, we're not out. They're just running yeah. really low. Why are you running three lines of iron plates, but only two of them are getting split off? Is that on purpose? Where are you hiding? Uh, because the third, uh, one wasn't, the third one's brand new. It hasn't been balanced yet. Okay, I was going to say, it's not feeding into <clears throat> anything, it's just sitting there backed up. It's feeding to the very bottom because it's the last thing I pulled out, but it hasn't been balanced at all because it's a brand new line. It was supposed to be four belts of, of uh, 
iron, but then I needed steel on an emergency and the belt was already there, so... It, it's, it's bad. Ignore it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's one of the things... I would like, ignore it, but I also want it. Yeah, I wanted to have... I, was, I still want to go back at some point and put down four, uh, four lots. To have uh, four belts oh. of, of iron and then uh, one or two Whoops. of steel. Definitely just put that at the wrong spot, but oh well. <laughs> I meant to break off the iron to bring it over here to the, the rails, but I actually brought it over to the drills. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, you... It'll do both. Underground belt you there. And there. Insert arms. Of course, they're one outside the power grid. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> And then you go that way. What size trains do you want to use? Ah, one sec. Uh, I haven't really thought about the trains at the moment for anything yet. Um, I, have, I, am, I haven't thought about them yet. I usually go with uh, 111 for, uh, for oil and for gas and stuff. And I would probably go with a 242 for ores usually. But I don't know how far away my ores are. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the map, the ores are so far away. <laughs> this is a train world, isn't it? It wasn't set up as one. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're really far away. Yeah. Uh, I need a chest. For now, a chest can just go there. And I can have all the coke that's spare. But I don't need it in my inventory. So, in this world where I set up my trains backwards, Mm -hmm. Um, I was, uh, working on getting everything set up the way I wanted, and, um, where was I going with this? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I completely um... lost my chain of thought. It had something to do with trains. Ah, no idea. Oh, I, I tried setting them up as 363s. Three, right. And 363s three, are really hard to load because 6 doesn't split well when you can only split in 2s. <laughs> That it needs true. to be either eight or four. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually quite true. <clears throat> right, we have coke. The moment I stopped thinking about it, I got it. <laughs> Excellent. We have, we have coke. Yes. We also have a lot of carbon already. Uh, yeah, and also this chest had uh, the ones that's in the machines, 200, and the chest of what was already produced before, and I brought it down with me. And I put the rest of what was already produced before in there. <laughs> uh, need some light bulbs down here. It's a bit dark. Eh, lights are overrated. Unless you do YouTube. What content. we really need is robots. Oh, you're working on that. Well, researching it, yes, currently. Uh, let's get a turret down here Actually. because I'm waiting for the first attacks to come. <laughs> What's a modular robo-port? <laughs> You're asking somebody who hasn't got a clue. Ah, uh, okay. My first playthrough with these mods, by the way. And I decided to go into it cold, so... <clears throat> well, we will learn together. <laughs> so, we have, we have, we have... We have Cabin, which is a first step towards the, uh, the process for making the electronic circuits. Question. Have you done any oil processing yet? None at all, because if you looked at my oil supply... Uh, it's kind of under stuff. Well, it's not under stuff. It's at the top. It's at the top. I kept off of it. It's only three pieces, though. <laughs> yeah. That's, There's also uh, two pieces uh, of, nat of natural gas, and the oil that's further away is behind bases, which I haven't been to yet. Bite of is turned off, by the way, so they won't come with what it's banned, but uh, you've got to push them out of the way if you don't go for anything. That's the fun part, right? That's why we built armor. Exactly. <clears throat> so, we have the why cabin. Why was I even asking that? There was something I wanted to make, but I don't remember what it was now, you and asked... it required... You asked about oil for some reason. Right, because I wanted to make silicon wafers and plastic bars for transistors for... Uh... Electronic circuit boards for what was I gonna make with the circuit boards? 
I did that thing in game where I was forgetting what I was trying to make. He was talking about fins earlier. No. No, I'm already making trains. <laughs> I don't remember what I needed that for. Okay, just getting some more trees down here for uh, for construction to go down. It must have been something really important. Sounds like it. But oh, there was something. I don't know. Do these repair? I bet they do. Oh, hey, did you want me to convert my burner ore crusher into an, a regular ore crusher? Hey, you might as well. There's no use of it otherwise. Since I have the resources in my inventory now? And there's literally I no the reason to. I in your warehouse. <laughs> there's literally no reason to have any uh, any burner ones now. <clears throat> oh, the iron's so Just bad. Don't, don't stick your fingers in it. Oh, why are we not producing bed science? Are you sure you meant red science? It's red in the thing now. It's not making them because oh, we're making them, because we're not <laughs> making them, because we are basically out of iron. Okay. It's I, an iron problem. I remembered what I was trying to make. I was trying to make a stack inserter. <laughs> Fair enough. And the answer, by the way, is we're not making red science because we just don't have the iron throughput for it. Yeah, I see that. Wait. <clears throat> what What's happening here? Oh, steel's gone. That's what's going on. I was like, why is the iron backed up and the steel's not? <laughs> uh, because steel needs iron, and we're not making enough iron. Yeah. Is that still because we're blocked up on stone, or is there another thing causing that? I'm guessing so. I'm on way to investigate it now. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, we are massively backed up on stone. I mean, these are just, we're just not draining it fast enough, even with the concrete build doing its job. <laughs> I have a solution. It's messy, but it'll work. Uh, I think we're going to need to upgrade this uh, supply of concrete. Definitely. Although that's also using up iron ore. It is, but not as much. Using five bricks of, uh, five bricks to one iron. It's not an ideal situation, but it's uh, a situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I need a couple more of those. Uh, I need two feed ins and a feed out. And then a feed out. There you go. And just need the power supply out this way. There you go. And they're running. Oops. Missed one. Oop. <laughs> Well, they're running, but they're not ever going to keep up with the demand. Plus, also, this is uh, filling quite nicely as well. <clears throat> Alright, so that's not bringing out the stone. And these guys are still not keeping up with the demand. Because the furnaces themselves are not just not able to produce it fast enough. Let's, uh... Is it really? The power pole in the wrong place or something? Yep. Damn you, power poles. That one there. Uh, you know what? Let's just place these guys down. It's easy to figure out where things go. So we just spaced it out for uh, extending the storm build, thinking we'd need it anyway. But obviously, it. Uh... That's something I can. Oh, I can't pocket craft those. What's that? Basic electronic components. No, you need. Actually, uh, I can if I grab some carbon for them. I say so you'll need some other bits for it. It's the cabin you can't do because you need to uh, liquefy it. But the cabin's down there, so. And tin copper wire, which means I'm gonna need more tin. That'll do, and then this side run, and that's a few more furnaces up and running. But that will only uh, increase the speed at which they can fill up the the system. But it should hopefully burn through some stone pretty quickly. Da -da 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 -da. No, actually, I still can't pocket craft them. I have to use the electronics assembly machine. Oh, you mean the actual circuits themselves? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. And a light bulb. That's okay. They craft really fast. Oh, they do, but it's just you got to get all the parts to them. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, that's now making more, more. And then we have light. And that's the wrong button. I just want a couple of hundred concrete on me just to use some of it up. Because I might as well start uh, using some of the concrete up. Yeah. If I give me a maximum, Ooh. fill my entire inventory with concrete and I'll just run down the bus and place them down. Da, 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 da. Concrete, please. Maximum size. And he runs down the wheel. Dun, 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 dun. I ran out of it now. <laughs> That's a big chunk of the concrete used as well. It's a big chunk. Some of the concrete used. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So we're going to have to head out to the battery base at some point. To the, uh, If you look at the map, you'll see to the west of the lake, there's a couple of battery bases. And we, when we're at full, full run, the pollution almost makes it to it. Yeah, I can see that being an issue. Yeah, because once they start attacking, that becomes a problem. I mean, you do have defenses up, which is good, because, you know, a lot of times I'll start a new base and I'll forget to put turrets up and then things get destroyed, and I go, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. I was basically told that they were more, they were more basically. They were, they were bad. Uh, this electronic uh, machine you're using here. This one? Yeah. Obviously, we can we can move that down to the bottom and grab carbon from it as well now. Right. I was get, just have a feeding it so I can get a few of them. Yeah, so when you have a build. Um, but to make that, it's going to require... Um, to make those, it requires... The tin copper wire, which I can get going. Can I have a copper here? And I think this is tin on the green one. Yeah. Green one's tin. And one sole tree survived Renner, right in the way of the bell. Of course it was. <laughs> well, where else could it live? <laughs> it doesn't live now. All right, so that's going to be... I'm going to have to start moving some of the construction to the side at some point, because this is getting quite long as a base. And we're also I putting some biters below us. I gave you my crusher, because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Uh, the crusher just works like in, in the wrong hands. I mean, the crusher is just uh, like an assembler, but it only takes in R and puts out R. Mm -hmm. Right, so we need to have the assembler machines, that's the one. And you just need to, it's just standard copper wire, then copper wire again. This is how it look. Where would they be hiding it? So tin wire just requires copper cable and tin, that's fine. And copper wire production is just standard issue production, I believe. Which would be more useful if we could find it in the list of many, many things that's in here. Ah, there it is. Uh, copper wire. So it's just standard copper plate. So that's nice and easy to make. Uh, if I send you two over there, I can build it off to the side without any issues. Go that way. I need to split it there. It would be much smarter. And then you would go there with a splitter. Boop. You would run down to there, you would run down to there. And you need an underground belt. Boop, there we go. Right. So, underground belts. I know it makes a lot of people angry, but I actually kind of like doing the thing where you just flop down an assembly machine, throw the stuff in it from your inventory, and then pick it up when you're done with it. Yeah, I do that. For, rap for rapid building, it's just faster, because it's faster than hand crafting anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've never actually had a complaint in Factorio, ever, about the way I build stuff. And everyone else that plays Factorio that I know, always all saying, oh, if you do this, people complain about it. And I've never had anyone complain about my build style, even though I build stuff massively inefficient. Maybe they've just come to expect it from you? <laughs> no one's ever complained though, so it's like, you'd think they'd complain at least at the start point. I mean, your builds aren't that bad. No, they're not. I mean, I've, I've learned over time, but even then I've never had people complain even from day one. 
I get a little OCD about my builds, and this is not causing a problem for me, so. <laughs> right, so, a couple wire produces two every half second, so four a second, and. How many do I need for this? So, you, I would need. Uh, you. I need three every 0.5 seconds, because I, I, of course, I have to hit this entire thing now. Why would you want three every 0.5 seconds? That's just mean. Four seconds. I have no idea. You're four a second, you're three. Six every two seconds. It's just mean. Okay, so. Oh, I'm out of power poles. What kind do you need? I've got lots. Uh, any, really. Just need power poles. Thank you. Right, so you're going to be needing inserters. I don't know if I picked those up somewhere or if I made them, but I had a lot. They are automated, so you might have picked them up, but I don't know, obviously, where you got them from. Probably. Uh, what would be actually be smarter is if I made this in a slightly different way. Different orientation, not different way. Are you making... What are you making? Uh, the tin copper wire. Tin wire. Okay. Because the tin wire actually, and the I, carbon I, then get used together to make the circuit you need. Right. Uh, so if I alter the orientation of this just a tiny little bit, like that, then I'll be able to do so this. One tin copper wire to one carbon. So did that. And then I can put you there and there. Hey, got it. There. So you can make the wire. Wire, 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 wire. Lost my wires. I keep losing the wires in the list of all the stuff. Okay, if you're going to make that there, I'm going to change up how this uh, carbon is coming out of here. I was going to send the uh, tin wire down and meet you over here somewhere. Oh, okay. I was going to bring the carbon up this way and build it right here. I kind of figured we might need the, the tin wire for something else, so I'm not sure. Gotcha. Really? Copper wire. There we are. Why is it copper cable instead of copper wire if I can't find it when I look for wire? I don't know. It's just being mean, I'm telling you. Right, so that's the that's them. So we can output you to there. So you'll be able to output and feed a belt. And then we'd be able to take the belt. And where's my over assembler? Uh, oh, I did that. That's just weird. <coughs> da -da 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 there. And then you can come into the side of that. And in here we can make. What the hell is that? There's a hole in the ground. I never noticed that. There's literally a one square hole. Uh, that's water. Yeah. Do you have any landfill? No, I haven't got landfill mid yet. There we go. So that's the... <laughs> that's that I one. only had enough stone for one. <laughs> There's the wrong one as well. <laughs> uh, boop, that's the plate. The wire getting started, so I can have the assemblers starting. Uh, here. Boop. Boop. Assemblers. And you guys can make the that's not the right one. The coils are really annoying. Uh, you can make the wire. Boop, boop. So you need to take in from there. And power yourselves. Boop. And take a power cable from there. And then you'll have your output. Is that the convey belt for the wire? Yes. Okay. There you go. Ignore the curve from the wire. That's just, just. I don't know how many uh, electronic components we're gonna need. Well, they're using making the circuits of electronic circuits, I believe. Basic circuits. I mean, this might not be a big well, this... build yet. It's only a, it's only a two-piece build, so. Right, and since each of these makes five components every two seconds, this is definitely gonna be more than enough to fill a yellow belt. 
Yeah, assuming that the supply of cables will actually be enough, which I don't think it will. Looking at this, I wasn't I wasn't reading that far down the uh, down the supply chain. But there they go. They're running. I might need to actually up these two fast inserters. By the look of it. And then supply those up to fast inserters. And then those. And then hopefully that'll be... Uh... Okay, definitely saturating the belt now. That's good. Oh yeah, that's, that's, so that's, that's our... more than enough. <clears throat> Your iron is backing up, but your steel is not. Are you using a lot of steel? Not really. Just it, so it's just not getting a lot of supply. Wait, what did I do here? I did something dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was trying to put it on the other side of the belt and kind of failed at that. Yeah, I see that one. Da, 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 da. But yeah, that backed up really quickly and really good. Excellent. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Oh, you could just have a meet in the middle and come down one. Yeah. All right. So we have the they have them. They they're very important for what we need next. Wait. What were we making with them? The basic circuit board. Right. And the electronic circuit board. So we now need to bring no, solder. No, we have the basic circuit board. We have the basics. They're on the bus as well. That's good. We just need to bring the solder and get the solder ready now. Which you make with Perfect. resin and solar plate. Oop, there you go. What'd you just give me? Furnaces. Oh. What do you need? Um, you need resin. I need resin, right, that's which wood. needs wood. Yeah, so I'm bringing that down now. Wood. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's, the, there's the wood line. Okay. <clears throat> that's the resin. So the next thing on that is uh, solder, solder, solder. Where's the resin? Resin. And solder plate. Solder plate is made uh, with lead and tin. So you got tin is the green one, so I can bring that down in a bit further, no problem. And you need lead, which is the black one, which I believe is that there, but that could also be glass. New glass. Okay, that's glass. Where's the lead? <clears throat> I don't think I brought lead down yet. Oh man, it's hard to keep track of all these things. Okay. <laughs> So I've got resin. Oh, we're making solder. That's what we're making. Yep. Soldering plates, I assume, are made by uh, putting solder in a furnace. No, putting no, lead, putting and, lead tin in a and yeah, lead and tin on the on the on the one. You are aha. There it okay. is. Okay. Um, seven seconds and five seconds. So we don't actually need that many furnaces. Da, 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 da. So I need that to be in the second conveyor belt. Uh, just to rejig this a little bit here. So we can go up there. Now I leave this alone. It's just complicated to try and change that. All right, so you start saying the lead down the down the belt because I've I isolated off not to come down when it wasn't wanted. Lead ore is now its way down. Oh, that was. Uh, that was unfortunate. Positioning on stuff. Uh, need a, that to go there. Then you go that way. You go that way. Right, lead's on its way down. Which All the way down. Lead? You up? That's not lead. Which belt is lead? Probably the empty one, huh? Uh, one of the empty ones, yes. Uh, lead is on its way. I'll get to you in a moment. I'm just bringing down to the actual smelters right now. Oh, okay. I was like, both of those belts are not connected to anything. Uh, it's are you going to put it on the one next to coal? It'll be one next to the green, next to the tin. Okay. It will be when I bring it down to you in just a moment. I'll just put an underground belts in place for it. Where is 
so far? No, it won't. Uh... He did some weird wall stuff here. Uh, with a, uh, with the gun turret. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get... I, okay. I can't be able to move the turret. Eh. I've already fixed it. Yeah, I just couldn't be able to move the turret, so I just extended it out by one way I needed the belt to go. Anyway, let's chip its way to you now. <clears throat> da, 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 so wait, da, da, da. what am I splitting off for this? Well, you need lead and you'll need uh, tin, which is the green one. To make solder? Yep. Okay. Da, 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 da. Wow, they did so long to empty out. Da, 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 da. So that goes there, and then... Good. So that's actually now flowing. Just going for it to eventually empty out the uh, old one. Ah, I hate this part. When you have a lot of extra materials in furnaces you don't want to use, because you want to decommission them. Yep. I'm switching one of the uh, furnaces, the one of the smelter arrays over to, to lead, and the one that was lead, and I'm clearing down because I got the wrong way around. And having to check everyone to remove the the R raw material from it is just so painful. Right, so that's done, and then over here, just drop all the lead I don't need. There we go. And you can connect there, and you'll be ready for whatever we put into that, which I don't know when it will be yet. I built one too many furniture is. Right, that's all that up and running. That is there. Oh, yeah, you can see. Uh, <laughs> I think I did that right. No, I didn't. Wait, how do you make solder? Oh, you need the metal mixing one. The, this one. The blue one. Because obviously the game has to be complicated for you, you see. Yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then you need a fuel supply, which you can get wood. That's fine. And there they go. Woohoo! <laughs> and then eventually you get solder. There you go. Wow, you get 11 of them per machine. <laughs> you like my fun belt weaving over here? Pretty colors. Um, okay, so we've got the solder there, which is good. <laughs> the colors actually make the game look much more pretty than normal. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, All right so, so wait, what are we making with this? Basic circuit boards, uh, electronic circuit boards. And um, we need quite a few of these, so we have to have machines to handle a decent throughput. And they will end up on the bus, most likely. This will make eight every two seconds. I don't think we have to worry about throughput, unless you're planning to put a lot of them on there. Well, for example, um, blue uh, fa uh, fast inserters use, use them, and assembly machines use them, and... So a lot of your construction stuff uses them, but obviously you don't need a high burst, do you? Uh, where are the basic circuit boards? Coming down now. Oh, okay. A lot of underground belts going to be required here because they were uh, coming right underneath all your machinery. There you go. Basic circuit boards. And now I have underground belts, so I'm going to grab a new stack. Da, 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 da. And then get stuck there again. I keep getting stuck on the chest because it's uh, you can't squeeze through. That's right. Is that all we need? The basic circuit boards, the basic electric components, and the soldering. Okay. So where are you wanting this on the belt? You want it next to the basic ones? Uh, it would make sense. Uh, need some more common bales as well because I just ran out. Well, nearly ran out. Uh, and I definitely need some more of those. Doop, doop. There we go. All right, so we have a lot of stuff in place now we didn't have earlier. 
Dun 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 dun. Tell you what, you build a lot closer to the bus than I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've had, I've had a couple of instances in this, this playthrough so far where I've had to move things. It's like, I'm going to build at least four squares away from the bus at all times now. <laughs> Just from a personal, like, I've, I've had enough issues with myself. <laughs> me building things. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's bring the rest of this bus down so we don't uh, lose them. Because I'm going to end up in a situation where I can't uh, build something because the bus isn't in the place. Oh, that was weird. There we go. That's going to be... Iron. I can't see in the dark. I know, the Roomba's light mod hasn't been updated yet. Somebody get on that quickly. But so yeah, that's why there's so many light bulbs that have been sort of uh, automated, just for because you, you need to see stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, is that everything coming down? Yep, so I just need to bring the last line, which is the one that currently doesn't have anything on it, but I'm preparing ahead of time to bring it down with me. I had one uh, material that I planned a furnace for. <laughs> And then uh, find out you can't put it into a furnace. Into a smelter. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. I am out of assembly machines because I am out of iron. Assembly machines are automated, by the way. Assembly machine twos? No, number ones. Number two is a number two. You can't automate until you have these circuits available. <laughs> well, good thing I have a lot of it in my inventory. <laughs> Uh, research. I want constructor bots. Yes. Go. Uh, that's fine. Da, 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 da. Excellent. I'm going to make these put onto the other side of the belt. It would make sense. That way you've got a uh, full saturated belt rather than just half a belt. Mm-hmm. And then the colourful belt silver back again. There is not any rhyme or reason to what order I put these uh, arms in, but I know that there are two reds and one blue for each machine. Two reds and one blue for each machine? Uh, these arms on these machines. I was not attempting to make any kind of sense. I just threw them down. That's fair enough. As long as it works, it good. It works. Damn lead. And then there, and undo that. Put an underground there. Not even a splitter even. I'm going to move one of the uh, bus belt pieces because it's. Uh, Right in the way of one of the bus lines. One of your split off lines. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, gear wheels. There we go. Boop. And then. Perfect. I'm going to put lights all over this. Yeah, you need them. There we go. As soon as nighttime falls, you look at the content, it's like you can't see anything, and then you get all the horrible glitchiness from YouTube with dark moving stuff. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right. Copper is... Uh, iron is still an issue. <clears throat> this hasn't been balanced since it got taken off over here. And steel is still an issue because iron is still an issue. Yep. Definitely need to uh, deal with that. That situation. And then the, again, the iron and steel are both issues because of the stone backing up in the assemblers. Mm hmm. Have we helped that at all? I mean, it's working, but uh, I'm guessing there's just so much stone to come through now. Because this is already drained off here. 
And there is keep, and there is a flow going, but it's a. <laughs> this warehouse is like less than half full. <laughs> All right, that's why I was making more of those. What's that? I had forgotten why I was making more blue arms. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah if you look at the stone, it's constantly flowing now. It is constantly flowing. It's actually to the point where all the assemblers are actually getting rid of stone now, which is great. But it's still a situation where half of over half of the uh, all processing machines are not actually uh, able to get rid of their stone still. Actually, now it's a bit of a throughput issue from the ore. Yeah. Which is good and bad. Do you know the actual good news, which we'll do in the next episode, because we just sit 40 minutes? Uh, the other supply of ore available that we can use is over here, right next to the smelters. Where I am now. Oh, yes it is. And Yeah, it's these uh, ore sorting facilities are not processing it fast enough now. Uh, those ones up there are fine, but the, the <clears throat> if you go to the ore crushers below, the right-hand side crushers convert it straight into iron plates. Uh, it's written to um, Sterilite, which goes to Iron Plates, which is why they're kind of half split. Oh, yeah, I just followed the ore line from the, the yeah. smelters. The, the, that, the, those those two you're on now, yeah, those two you're on now both make Iron Plates. The reason why they were split out separately was due to I didn't want to put too much load onto that one side. So the left side is regular ore and the right side is crushed ore? Basically, yes. They both produce Iron Plates, but only one can be used to make concrete, so... Which is the left belt, right? Yes. Left. The left one is the uh, is the iron, iron ore. The other one is the crushed ore. I see. So it's just one of the things where <clears throat> they're not getting any ore anymore because it's just the throughput of the of the pure mined material just isn't there. Mhm. Mm and so it's just a matter of we need to set up a new mine right where I'm stood. To get materials up to those uh, processes. Well, I guess we'll have to do one more episode. Hi. And I think before we even end any kind of uh, collaboration, we need to go deal with that base that's right about pollution level. If you look right now, <laughs> it's one square away from pollution hitting it. Yeah, might be good to deal with that. Maybe. It needs to dealing with. <laughs> I mean, we can either deal with it now or deal with it later, and I think that's going to be more of a problem if we deal with it later. Yeah, my advice is we end the episode now, we come back next episode. The first thing we do is deal with that base, second thing we do is get this mine up. Sounds like a plan. Alright, in that case, thank you all for watching, thank you Raphael for being around, it's been uh, very helpful for, you, for me to have some help on this, and I'm hoping you've uh, seen the mods and got, had some fun with them. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you all in the next episode. See you later guys. Bye. Trust you and jump down I'll keep my status quo up here Won't let anybody come near I'll fix it on my own